So I am uh, doing a little tutorial here on how to send a PDF or a Word document to someone via email. There are two ways to do this from within Pages. Um, so Pages works in a format called Pages. So if you look in your finder at a document um, that is a Pages document, you'll see that that document is titled dot pages so let's see here's an example right here so this one you can see is the name grandma pick sheet mother's day 07 dot p a g s and um, that is not an item that can be opened by somebody um, on a pc um, it's um, it's basically non-usable for them so you see here it says dot pages so our objective here is to send one of two formats my recommendation is always to send in PDF so you'll see that this is a PDF portable document format PDF is the most common and uh, universal format so it's the best way to send something to somebody and it's always easy to do on a Mac no matter what program you're in you can always send a, a PDF um, but there's an even easier way to do that from within pages. It's also, of course, the other format is a dot doc. So, and that will say at the end, instead of like in this one dot PDF, it will say dot doc right here at the end. Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do here is, um, while we're in pages, we're going to go up to share, send via email, and you've got three choices here. Now if you're sending to somebody you want to edit who you know has pages, you can send it that way. If you're sending it to somebody you want them to be able to edit and they have Word, you can send it this way. But if you don't want them to edit it and you're just sending them a document, I recommend you send PDF. Word is a good format because they can use it, but it will inevitably reformat it in a way that you didn't set it up. Like for instance, I have a box here and there are words within the box. More than likely, if I sent that as a Word document, maybe the box would end up over here, or it might just not quite come across right, or they might not have this font, which is called Chalk Duster, which is not a common font. So somehow it would replace that font with something different, and it would it might reformat format the image. So I typically will send something as a PDF. So I'm going to start with that. So if I click on this, very simple in pages, share, send via mail, PDF, it takes a second, but it now will take me over to the mail program with that attachment already in an email, uh, which is which is pretty cool. So here it is all ready to go. They're showing me a, a little view of that PDF, um, but that's actually an attached file. So now I can send it to somebody. Uh, send it to myself. And then I can say whatever I want to want to say here. Well, let's make that a little something more clear. Okay. So in a Mac, it shows the actual PDF in the email. It's kind of a nice little thing that they do to make things a little easier for you to see. Um, and they don't always do that in a, on a PC. Most cases they don't, so it looks like an attachment with a little PDF icon. So then we just send and it's on its way. So that's option number one. And of course, going back to pages, you can still share that in the exact same way as a Word document. If I hit Word document, you'll see it shows it. It doesn't show it in the email. It'll show it as an attachment. There it is. There's our Word document that's attached. Now I can address it, put a subject in, and email it on its way. So those two formats will be openable on a PC regardless. Even if they don't have Word on their computer, um, their Notepad application will open it. But again, it'll change the formatting, and I don't recommend sending it as a Word document. So the other option here is if you if you want to save a copy of a PDF because you're going to be emailing this out to say more people in the future, you can go up to share and export 
So down at the bottom of the share option is export. Click on export. It now opens up and it asks me what do I want to export it as. Well, I could export it as any one of these things. I can export it as a PDF. I can export it as a Word document, a rich text formatting document, which is better if the person doesn't have Word um, because it'll format it in a way that it will open up in Notepad so it looks good. Plain text, which means it won't show any boxes or it'll only show the text. Or EPUB, which is actually um, a format which you can read through Kindle or uh, through um, an iPhone or, a, um, or an iPad. Uh, so that's a pretty neat little option that they just added actually. So you can export it as an EPUB. Uh, electronic publication is what that stands for. Um, so in this case I'm going to choose PDF and I'm going to choose the best quality. Now if I've got a really big image in here and I save it as best it can be quite a big file so I can save it as good and it'll still be it'll still look fine. I can even add security options so the person has to use a password to open it up. Um, but I'm not going to do that. When I hit next it takes me to a finder window and asks me where I want to save it. So I'll just say in the documents I'm going to actually put it in a new folder. Give it a title of tutorial test and hit create. I've got a new folder now called tutorial test and I'm going to call this test PDF for email. And I'm going to hit export. It exported it. Now when I switch to my email program and I start a new message I can put in who it's for. Put in a subject. Click into the uh, this the the area of the actual email and click on the attach button. And it will open another little finder window where I'll navigate to the location of the um, uh, the folder and it'll be in the recent places here so tutorial test test PDF for email and choose the file now I, you'll notice it's got check send windows friendly attachments that's not a bad thing to do I don't really know that it makes a whole lot of a difference but it's worth having to check just in case and that's pretty much it I hit send and it's on its way so two different ways and I could have exported that as a word I could have exported it in any of those formats and I would just attach it the same way and send it on so two ways to share something that you've created in pages from a Mac um, there is one other way I'm gonna share with you actually number three this we'll call this the bonus and it, this happened this is true in any application you work in if you're in Safari if you're in anything at all and you tell it to print so command P when I do that in every print window at the bottom left corner is a button that says PDF now that PDF button has a really cool little option below it um, where it says mail PDF now that exists as I say in any program so here we're working in pages um, but if you're working in Word on the Mac you can mail it as a PDF if you're working in Safari as I said or anything you can click on mail as a PDF and it will do the same thing where it will take me over to um, Mac mail uh, automatically should do that any moment here My computer seems to be running a little bit slow and it will open it up in, in, in Mac Mail and it will allow me to do basically the same thing that I've, I've been showing you. So there you go, three different ways to send a PDF or a Word document from within an application or within pages. There it goes, it finally moved me over. And there it is again, our PDF. Close that out and there you have it.